Okay, mate, welcome back to Capture Ministry with me, Judy. Now, in our first episode, we got ourselves settled, at least partially settled. We got a, th a few things knocked off our list. We got, well, our really, really early iron. Now, everything we built currently is going to be temporary. We're going to be removing everything, so it doesn't matter if it's a bit of a mess. But we got our first iron up and running. We also got our first uh, diggy boy over here doing coal, wherever he is. Ah, here in the forest. Of course he is. We also started mining iron. Yep, we started mining iron ore as well. And also, just at the end of the episode, managed to get, well, diesel up and running. Yeah. Now, there's a few more things to do, like put in a giant pipe so we can actually dump the uh, wastewater. That's going to take a minute or two, or a construction part or two, and that means I've got some time to talk to you guys. So, first thing I need to do is I need to apologize. I need to apologize for... Um, the music, it seems the music in the last episode was a little bit too loud, even though it's gone and squished it as much as possible, the music's actually added in post, so, um, yeah, 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 uh, hopefully that is going to be solved for this episode. At the same time, uh, as we've done in previous series, I need to find a couple of trucks, because we're going to be naming trucks after the wonderful YouTube members, uh, we're going to name this one after, uh, Will Clark. Will Clark, thank you for becoming a wonderful YouTube member. Thank you for choosing to support the channel. And uh, also, I need to also grab... Oh, this is where I get to pronounce names. This is going to be the fun part. Uh, Valkyran J. Let's go with Valkyran J. Uh, again, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for becoming a wonderful YouTube member. Now, with that out of the way, we need to talk about a couple of things. Uh, first off... We need to add some more research because we're out of research. We managed to get basic diesel up and running our last episode. We managed to get the beacon up and running last episode. We got some new refugees, which all have some loot and some more new refugees that have some loot. We still have to do make synthetic, synthetic rubber, also copper refinement. Also at the same time, I need to, of course, ask, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. Early in the episode, I like to borrow the likes. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't think your like was worth it, by all means, you can have your like back. So, let's look at research. Let's start with research. Research seems like a good spot to start. Um, We're going to have to make copper refinement this episode, which means I can make construction part twos because they're going to require electronics. And of course, electronics requires copper. So I need to get that up and running. Also, the rubber, as I mentioned. Uh, we're going to grab the captain's office. Also going to unlock blueprints uh, and construction two. We're going to grab some ramps. We're, I guess, going to grab ship dock repair. Not that I really need to get the ship out of the dock yet, but okay, sure. Uh, conveyor belts, that seems really important. And, oh, oh, uh, can I also get the fuel station? And is there anything else I want? Mm, for right now, let's go with... Oh, actually, let's get terrain leveling, which is one of the new features. One of the new features with the new update. Okay, well, that's going to be our research. That's going to be our plan for our goal for today's episode. It's a lot to do. All right, with that out of the way, uh, let's go look at synthetic rubber because hopefully that pipe is half built, half built, half built, half built. Yeah, okay. All right, whilst we wait for that then, can I get a new diggy boy and two trucks? And let's also plan ahead. So I need to do a couple of things. Uh, in the last episode, we set up a little dumping destination here so we can get the trucks down to the next level. Now, once we get down to the next level, we can access the oil that's over here but we can't actually get further into the crater because this level rings all the way around. Well, mostly all the way around. Yep, almost most all the way around. And then it's gonna come back out here, just blow our coal. It doesn't actually get us down to the next level, the next level, the next level. So we sort of need to plan ahead, like very, very far ahead on the crater map. Yep. Now, if I just choose a digging designation and we say, oh, look, we've got a ramp here. Let's just continue our ramp on and dig straight down that's minus 43 uh that's minus 75 that's minus 80 that's ground level uh we can see there's a lot of filling to go an awful lot of filling so we're probably gonna have to do a staircase going back and forth to get down and not have a giant ramp that is probably a faster route but it's going to take up a lot of space not unless i push the front of the island out which is going to require a lot of landfill which is going to be awkward very very awkward yep uh, we'll, we'll jump that hurdle in just a minute. But what I do want to do is I do want to grab a building's vehicles. Can I get a mind control tower? Can we put a mind controller tower here? And I want to edit the area to this bit. Uh, on this bit, I want to set up one diggy boy and two trucks. 
and currently we have a fill designation here now previously previously in captive industry you could press the uh m button to mine and we can obviously that see that this number 11 is a dig this number 12 is a dig this number 13 feels like a fill this number 11 also feels like a dig but the catch is the devs added this wonderful new tool that unfortunately you don't unlock until you get research for terrain leveling now what the devs didn't tell you but i'm here to tell you is if you know the shortcut button you can use it even if you haven't researched so if we press n which is the new button and then i select from down here and drag out from the bottom we can see that this is a dig this is a dig but it's also a fill this is what the new tool does it marks the things that need to be dug as dug and the things that need to be filled as filled and i'm going to cheat and i'm just going to rub it all the way up to there so we can see uh this 11 mm, no let's go back to that tool this 11 it's a half dig half fill uh this 12 is a partial dig partial fill this 12 is a mostly dig a little bit of fill this uh 11 is an all dig so we're gonna get our little excavator over here i don't have construction parts really it's 20. i've got 16 in the network please oh trucks bring some across uh we're going to make sure that this is set up to um well yeah dig this out all right uh next thing we need to do whilst we wait for that to be built is i need to make sure you are doing iron you are doing iron you have iron in storage not really i need to set you to keep full and we're probably where's your tower probably need to set a second truck because i'm willing to bet the trucks are doing a lot of driving to go out to that fill location to do that fill location we want that one truck there to just finish you know mining and filling that little area once this guy's done we're going to give him a whole new order to go somewhere else on the map but i just want this little bit done first yeah and then that tower will also eventually take over while doing the copper eventually eventually okay uh so that's the first thing i need to do uh second thing we need to talk about was we got brick production up and running and in theory i need dirt my catch is i don't have any dirt uh we can check dirt is on the dump list and it's fine that's on the dump list because it's going to come to this storage first up oh. Speaking of, into storage, into making bricks. Bricks we're doing uh, okay on, sort of, and electronics we're doing horrible on. Uh, we need to finish one of these. So to, let, to finish one of these, let's see whether we can get rubber production up and running. Uh, oh, actually, and I also want to move Mr. Tree Cutter from this side of the map to this side of the map, because all this forest is going to be in our way. All right, uh, diesel, 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 diesel. Uh, we want a rubber maker. Uh, you, we're gonna put in, uh, actually, can I wrap you all the way around? I can, no, nope, that'll block the port. All right, we're gonna put you in here, here. Uh, we're gonna run diesel pipe in there. We're gonna run the, the excess fluid out there. And then hopefully, if all goes well, I can put a loose storage There's one tree in the way. There's one tree in the way. Okay, uh, Mr. Tree Cutter, can you remove that one tree? Once you've removed that one tree, you'll put up a notification saying I'm all out of jobs, at which point we should be good to go. All right, you, I still can't deliver. You are smelting. You are smelting. We have coal. Uh, where are you going? Oh, you're over here. Uh, can I prioritize you for finding dirt? And can I give you a... Oh, you've already got two trucks. All right, and you... Can I... You've already got two trucks as well. Can I actually prioritize you for finding dirt as well? Because I need dirt to get brick production up and running. Uh, it's going to be an ongoing issue for a little while until we stabilize a little bit. Uh, and finish you know small tasks like you know trying to get large 80 80 construction parts projects done with our horrible little bit of automation we have it's going to be a little while all right so we've done uh synthetic rubber we i need to do copper now copper i oh, oh there we go there's one uh i just need one or two more of these to come through more bonuses uh bonuses are nice okay uh we need to set up copper refinement now we're going to turn on planning mode which we've already done which means anything I place is going to be in pause mode. And I'm not going to... No, I wouldn't say cheat. I'm not going to uh, exploit the fact that I have my blueprints and you don't. 
So we're going to build this by hand. Now, everything we're building, as I've said, is currently temporary. It's all going to disappear. We're all going to have to remove it because let's face it, I can't keep any of these things here. They're sort of all in the way. But um, I want to talk through how we're going to be putting together a copper smelting at least. So I need to have, well, a blast furnace, obviously. Uh, we're going to put two of these with a one tile gap between them. And I need to make sure that both the smoked stacks are in the middle. And it's very important because we're going to have them share a single chimney later on. I only need to build one of these for right now, but we're going to want them in that order. On top of that, uh, copper electrolysis, I want to put you, you would assume, right there. As the... Bring that back up. No, 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 no. Uh, can I not see belts? Because I just don't have belt technology. Okay. Uh, as we can see, uh, with something... Can I have anything else in my hand? Anything else in my hand? Sure. We can see we're going to have an output here, output here, and an input here. It sort of makes sense to, like, run a straight line. The catch is there's also a liquid input here that I'd have to route eventually into that liquid input. And potentially in the future, when these upgrade to a Mark II, and uh, last I played at least, the copper electrolysis machine didn't have a Mark II version, I'm going to need one of the metal casters to one copper electrolysis machine. So instead of running the, uh, the belts nice and simply, uh, we're going to rotate things around this way. Uh, and leave a two-tile gap. Yes, it's going to be very, very important for later. As for our pipe, our pipe of liquid, uh, we have water right here. I'm going to drag this out, and we're going to go up. Uh, actually, we're going to go up the tiles on the ground, uh, and then I'm going to go up to height two. Now, height two means a truck can drive out under it, but um, something a little bit bigger. Cool. I just realized it's all off by tile. Uh, something a little bit bigger, like an excavator, can't. Uh, you all need to slide over on tile, please. Cool. Uh, can I plug that back in there? Yep, we need a three-tile gap uh, in the middle. It's going to be important later. All right, uh, we're going to run you at height two to here. Now, the fact that an excavator can't climb under is okay for the moment. It just means they're going to have to go around. No. 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 Okay. Height two two there and then you can go straight down except now i get you I, I i joining up pipes is very important i have found that should work yeah i can put a connector on that you really want it to come down at the very last second when you're doing your height, height adjustments okay liquid dump does not have a recipe cool can you accept that please all right that finishes diesel production. Excellent. Uh, that's going to give us some construction parts and some bricks. Also some diesel and some concrete. Uh, finally, we're going to get some vehicle parts because we made some vehicle parts. And that means that in theory, you're running and you're making your own diesel. Excellent. We're going to unpause the making of, uh, well, rubber. And at the same time, I want to put a storage here, which we're going to set up with coal. And we're going to say keep full and unpause you as well. Also, on a second one, oh, cool, we found a new job for the tree harvester. Uh, plugged in here because this also needs coal. We're going to be running on a basic distiller for a little while, so we might as well have coal automatically fed into it. This is going to take some time to build uh, and going to have some construction parts, so we're going to leave this for right now. Uh, one thing I do need to do is I need to run a pipe through to here, plus a pipe through to here. Cut that little bit of pipe off the end with the X button and put in a smokestack. Um, obviously, you need one smokestack, so we're going to have them share just because we can, pretty much, pretty much. And that should get that done. Uh, that should get that done. You should have chopped down a tree. Can I get you to chop down every tree in this area? Because there's a lot. Actually, let's start with that tree because I'm hoping I'm going to get you to work, you know, this direction. All right. Uh, can I put in storage, please, for coal right there? Okay, and we're going to unpause you as well. We're going to have an issue with construction parts for at least a little while. Until we get a bit more better automation, it's going to be a thing. Uh, that I never clicked unpause to. That explains why it's not built. Okay, that means you should go dig and level. We just need you to do a little bit of digging, just, just the tiniest amount. We just need the, the, the tiniest amount trimmed off from the top. Okay, tree harvest has nothing to do. You do that tree, and then you do all of those trees, please. We'll get into automatic tree harvesting in the future. At the moment, I don't really have a problem with uh, not enough wood. I have a problem with too much wood. 
Uh, actually, I can already see that I'm going to want you to trim those particular trees as well. So I can put a storage there. Or unless the storage just magically fits. A storage magically fits. I will take it. All right. Now we can store up some rubber. It's very, very important we have rubber. Uh, it keeps the population at bay because we don't want to overstock the houses. All right. Uh, you have no reachable digging. Cool. Which means we can reassign you from there to... Nope. There to there. And uh, I'm not going to have you start digging that just yet. I want to put another mind control tower. And we're going to put you up here. Uh, we're going to unpause you. We're also going to copy our little diesel generator. Because rather than the trucks auto magically deleting, uh, delivering the diesel, we're going to put you here and plug you in there instead. Uh, can I build that one? And uh, make sure we're going to build that one. Oh, and that got pre assigned two trucks because I copied it. Ha 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 ha. Unpause. Unpause. All right. Uh, I need to remove that and remove that because I don't actually have. Uh, any copper refining up and running. But we're going to throw another excavator on here and another two trucks because, well, I need to have more coal. We're now using coal for iron smelting, which, well, we have a bucket here, except there's no coal in it. Uh, we also have coal uh, over here, which I probably need to say not keep full because the coal's being intentionally brought over here rather than just dumped into general buckets, which then any truck can use. Uh, so I'd need it sort of available. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So I need to have uh, you built. And you, we're going to have you cover this area because we need to start planning ahead. Very, very far ahead on this map. All right. I'm going to have a land problem. A giant land problem. Okay. Or a giant lack thereof land problem. Yes. So I need to plan ahead to counter for that. Now, we have this very, very... Well, we have this little flat plateau at the top, which is very, very handy for, well, our early game, our early game. But it's not going to be enough room to build a factory. Now, if I fill out to the sea, I will probably have lots more room. And we could do that. It's just going to take a while. And if we just do a quick uh, fill, and I drag this out, we can see that the sea doesn't arch off too bad. So it's not going to be too bad to fill in the sea, but it's going to take some time. Uh, and of course, I'm going to need materials. At the same time, if we bring up our mining and we know the trucks travel down at this angle. So if I set up mining and I set up a, a flat right here and then set up a dig and I come down like this uh, to minus 10, because that is ground level down here, well, I can see there's actually a fair bit of material we can just chew out of this hill, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. Except I don't need like this tile, this whole row. It's useless to me. I don't need this row or this row. They're all use also useless to me. Uh, if we double check our uh, resource allocation, like anything that's possibly the first tile I might want. But to use that tile, I need to move housing and housing is not going to be an easy thing to move. Like I, I could put these little things here, but then I have no access to the back of them without filling in more area. So honestly, uh, this number five here is the first tile I want to keep. So that means that uh, we're going to have a uh, N uh, and a R to make sure we're at an angle. And I'm going to come down to minus 10 and then we're going to level things off here. So we're just going to take out a chunk of this mountain. And this is going to be mostly dirt, I imagine. An awful lot of dirt. But that's okay. I don't mind. We need a lot of dirt. Uh, at the same time, also going to set a uh, mining designation on, well, that whole knob. I just want the knob gone. Uh, in fact, actually, we might as well just... No, let's just chop off the top of the knob first, and then we'll work our way down. All right. So that's going to be our plan, uh, which means I need this built, which means I need construction parts, which brings us back to problem uh, number A. I don't have any construction parts. Okay. Construction parts, we need bricks. Bricks need dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Uh, which means I need to mine things faster. Which means uh, you are focused on dirt. Yeah. You have two diggy boys over here. And where's your second diggy boy? Uh, running away. Okay, cool. If you're going to be running away, can I unassign you? And instead, we're going to assign you to this one. 
uh, which I'm going to hit the high priority on because you're now super high priority because I sort of want you done. Uh, Alright, so we need bricks and uh, that message can go away. So we need bricks. We need bricks to make construction construction pass. That's really our issue. Uh, and we're coming out very, very slowly, but as we can see, it's one brick to one construction part. And currently, I also have a problem of, well, this is using uh, six six bricks for six construction parts. You, for 12 soil. Uh, 21 soil. Make 12 bricks. So I need to find a lot of dirt. An awful lot of dirt. An awful, awful, awful lot of dirt. Uh, to make an awful lot of bricks. So... We need this built desperately because as soon as this is built, there has to be a lot of dirt in them hills. Like an awful lot of dirt in them hills. So we're going to assign you to really be looking for the dirt. All the dirt. All the dirt on all the other diggy boys. Uh, okay. Uh, the other th the problem I have technically is I also have a problem with iron. At the moment, I have a decent amount of iron in stockpile, but um, you're trying to use four and a half per second. Plus, we have one making dedicated mechanical parts. Because I need mechanical parts for maintenance, which is another seven and a half per second. So that's what, eight, 12, 12. Uh, plus, I am occasionally making vehicle parts. Plus, I actually have another machine that is basically making construction parts because it's it's doing vehicle parts, but they're always full, then doing construction parts. So I'm using 12, uh, 15, call it 20, 20, and we're making, um, well, 24. So we're not as far ahead or, or as far over as I'd like to be. Uh, okay, we can now assign a truck to that. And we should have diesel done down here. We do. Great. With diesel done down here, I can remove you because I don't want to drag the diesel up the hill. We'll just run it through a pipe. Also, it gives me some construction parts. All right. You are going to be digging. You're going to be finding all the dirt. I need all the dirt in the world to make all the bricks in the world. Great. That's that problem done. Uh, we need to talk about some research. So I have ramps for vehicles. Uh, where are we? Ramps for vehicles. Pretty self-explanatory. They're ramps. Okay. Ramps let us run pipes and belts and all sorts of things underneath. More importantly, I did mention that our trucks can drive under a pipe or a belt that's at a height level of two or more, whereas our excavators can't. Something about a, a big arm that sticks up over the top, so ramps are a best option for those. The other catch is... The small ramp costs construction part one. That's nice and easy. The ramp two costs concrete bricks. I can't make concrete bricks or concrete slabs, they're called. I can't make those. Um, so we're going to ignore that for a moment and we're going to remove that research. Uh, we're meant to repair the ship dock, which costs 100 construction parts. I don't have 100 construction parts. We're not doing that one just yet. Uh, also, we have a captain's office. Oh, actually, no, we can talk about blueprints. Uh, we've unlocked blueprints. I don't have any blueprints available. Okay. I don't have any blueprints available, not yet. We will have blueprints in the not-too-distant future, and I will be sharing them, but not just at the moment. Okay, I need a chance to confirm that everything still works, all the ratios that have changed, I've accounted for, at which point you will find blueprints on the channel. I actually be doing dedicated videos with all my... I've already done a whole bunch of upgradable smells designs, which I'm 98% sure still work. Like, nothing was majorly... Well, actually couple of things for change for some of them but like iron and copper and a couple of others work fine so they are already on the channel no blueprints exist at this stage but the videos are designed well enough that you can just go through and follow it yourself and make a blueprint at the end if you wish to so uh yes yes I, I'll, I'll link up those, those up the top right hand corner also i'll link them down in the description the other thing i should mention very very quickly is when the game was released i actually uh well when the game was released like 24 hours ago a little under 24 hours ago when you're watching this video I had a chance over at Twitch to have an interview with a dev. Uh, and if you're interested in seeing that footage, just, just, can you do me a favor? Just leave something down in the comments. Just, just say you'd love to see the interview with a dev. I need to double check the audio was fine because the audio was a bit garbled at one stage. I had notifications going off left, front, center. It was a very, very busy stream. The game just released. Well, the game actually released an hour afterwards. I was chatting to the dev before the release. So I need to check the audio is fine. If the audio is fine, I plan on, if you guys are interested, uploading it here to the main channel. Otherwise, uh, of course, it will be being, being a live stream of, um, well, we're on the crater map here. Uh, being that this is the crater map, mm, I actually decided on my Twitch series, because we're doing a separate Twitch series. I did mention that we're going to be doing the Insula Mortis map, so the Skull and Crossbones one. Uh, that'll end up on the second channel 
probably, I don't know, by the time you guys watch this, 24 hours, 24 hours from now. Again, I'll leave, leave a link down in the description. But yeah, I, I need to know, you guys, do you want to actually see the interview from the devs? That's that's really the big question. So again, down in the comment section, tell me if you will, if you do, and then I'll look at trying to double check the audio is fine and then upload it here. All right, anyway, with enough rambling out of the way, uh, hopefully we've made enough construction parts. I have 49 construction parts. Nice, almost nice. All right, so, uh... We did get a message about no room to dump materials, which implies nothing. Absolutely nothing. I have no idea why we got that message, but it should be fine. All right. We want to make sure I can keep cranking up bricks. Now, as long as I have dirt in here, you can keep processing, but you need to have 21 dirt. That can't be right. 13 dirt? Right click on it. It's 14 dirt for eight bricks. There you go. 14 dirt for 8 bricks. Turn that back on. 21 dirt for 12 bricks. Okay, so I need to go through 21 dirt. You only hold 180. So I'm going to instantly put a second bucket behind and make sure we can get that full of dirt too. Uh, because I connected a bucket to a bucket, that's going to turn off trucks being able to import things directly into this bucket. Which is a bit of a problem because, well, they need to import it directly into this machine. Uh, what I'd recommend doing, unless you have the construction parts for things to happen straight away, is make sure you turn this back on. That way they can deliver to either one of them. Realistically, you'd only want it delivering to the rear one, but that's besides the point. We, we can turn it on and off and blah, 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 blah. Because these are connect, uh, this becomes the in. So on for trucks bringing stuff in, and this becomes the on for trucks take, taking stuff out. But hopefully we turn off dumping for dirt. Problem solved. Because that's what you've done, isn't it? You've gone and driven all the way over here dump some dirt off the hill. You're a horrible truck. Horrible truck. All right. Uh, we need to get copper refinement up and running. So I am going to unpause everything between there and there. And that should be everything we need. So this should be able to bring in copper scrap and, oh, and copper ore. Uh, run that into our metal casters, which if they get molten iron or they get molten copper, I don't mind. They'll make either iron or impure copper. As well, you're not going to find any molten iron. It doesn't matter that the re that recipe's turned on. You're only going to find molten copper. So you're going to make some lovely impure copper. Impure copper is slightly different from iron that we need to wash it. So we need to run the impure copper and run it through some water. Also 400 kilowatts worth of power. That one's nasty. And we lose some copper in the process. So we bring in 24 impure and we get out 19.5 uh, pure, pure, nice shiny copper. And of course that's going to come out the front rather than the rear. Oh, we have belts? We have belts? I've done belts? Oh, I've done belts. Okay. Uh, belts. We'll talk about belts really quickly. I need to bring you around and I actually need to plug you in there. I know it's a little bit of a long-winded route to get around the back, but it's there for a reason. The main reason being that we bring this this way and can I put one of those there for spacing? And to there? Nope. Uh, carts. Carts. Cool. Uh, there to... There. And then storage, unit storage, right here. Yep, you, you're you just there for alignment purposes. All right, I can't build belts yet because they require electronics too. Well, uh, not electronics too, um, construction parts too. They all require construction part two, and I don't have construction parts too because we haven't built construction parts too. All right, uh, can I talk about do 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 belts we sort of talked about their belts where we're pretty familiar with belts uh fuel station i also need construction parts for uh this will do a copper refinement so copper refinement is well the blast furnace the metal cast and everything else we've had previously with the addition of now the copper electrolysis machine now i'm curious nope there is still no mark ii version well that's a shame Okay, uh, so we're going to remove that off our list. It gives us less things on our list to look at. All right, we need to try and refine how we're making construction parts, and it looks like it is probably still a brick problem. So you are prioritizing... So you're doing mechanical parts. You're also doing mechanical parts. Uh, and mechanical parts need to go into maintenance. Now, maintenance, I, uh, I have a global need of... 50 and you produce 105 so i actually have a lot of room when it comes to maintenance so maybe the answer is we need more more trucks to get more things done faster 
Uh, it might not be the answer, but I also like trucks. So can we get two of those and one of those? Uh, you have no dirt. So actually, I think that might be our answer. Where is your diggy boy? Where is your diggy boy this time? Okay, you get a second truck. That way, hopefully they speed up this delivery because this is going to be our main source of dirt for quite some time. All right, uh, we're going to also come back over here. Uh, so you're going to be doing mechanical parts with vehicle parts as a secondary. Uh, you're going to be doing construction parts. You are direct fed, so I want to keep that one running. You're going to do mechanical parts, which is direct fed, which I think I'm going to swap across to do... Uh, you up to the top of the list, please. I think I'm going to have you do construction parts as your priority. So you're going to do construction parts first. If that fails, then you'll do mechanical parts. Mechanical parts, I don't have a great need for. I do need to make them, but I don't have a great need for them. And you... We're going to definitely put electronics at the top of the list because I need one of them dedicated to making electronics because I need three electronics every 60 seconds and you only make four every 60 seconds. So I definitely need one of them by really pushing those electronics because it's going to be important. I can't really add too many more production lines because we're going to be short on iron. Um, I just don't have iron ore coming in fast enough, uh, which is funny because you're sitting there doing nothing. Where's your tower? You can also have a dumping stuff at the far edge of the map. Yeah, you also need another truck. Okay. Uh, and we have busy already. So we're just going to add two more. We're just going to keep adding trucks. We have very, very few things that require maintenance. So as long as I can keep this under 100, I'm sort of okay. Sort of. Sort of. Uh, all right. We also need to... Uh, I need to wait for that excavator to come out. Okay, also need to start actually mining copper because that's going to be a requirement to, well, getting the copper, like uh, the, the, the copper smelter up and running. So same as with the iron, we're just going to flatten. We're just going to flatten the top. Once we flatten the top, we'll then look at how we're going to use this to dig probably at a nice 45 degrees right down. But we'll, we'll, we'll work that out in a minute. Uh, oh, there's our diggy boy. Oh, can I, where's that tower? Where is that tower? There it is. Uh, can I assign you and two? Yeah, we're getting a little bit short on general purpose trucks. Can I throw another two on there? We have room for 70 trucks. Trucks are not really an issue. All right. Uh, okay, vehicle management. We just spoke about that. That is 20 more trucks. Uh, terrain leveling, which is the brand new tool, uh, which is this one. We've already spoken about that. That is just the ability to, well, dig and and dump at the same time it's it's a it's a best of both worlds tool okay uh let's look at other researchers so can we get this is where we sort of hit a point where most of the researchers we don't actually need or want right at the second um i need to get them done no matter what but like i want advanced diesel that's that's the actual research i want which is hidden behind research lab two which means I need to then have a research lab two set up, which then means I need to produce science to put in the lab. So it's a it's a little bit more involved process. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so let's just tick off some research. Uh, crop rotation, sure, we can do crop rotation. I don't plan on using it. Uh, we can research how veggies work. If that is a research, don't question it. You're, you're, on, abandoned uranium, you're on abandoned island that was once full of uranium. The people may have had a small amount of issues and there might have been a little bit of inbreeding going on because we started with 90 people and now we have 140 don't question it yep we're just gonna have farming farming vegetable farming yep uh we're also gonna grab some edicts uh to run in our captain's office which eventually i'll have the construction parts to actually build eventually uh very much eventually uh okay one thing we can do no place to dump products what do you have you have rock you can dump rock. I don't get your issue. My issue is probably that I have two tiles and a truck was already assigned and there wasn't enough room. Yeah. So you're stuck because there's only a there's only a, a limited amount of limited amount of trucks that can park here to dump materials off. Uh so we probably need to do this yeah okay 
rather than doing it on that side, I'm going to do it on this side. Like, I don't really want to make it wider, but again, I don't want the trucks hanging around with nothing to do. You know, and, and saying, I can't, I've got nowhere to dump anything, so I need to drive all the way back. Then go, oh no, turns out there was a spot. All right, I'll drive all the way back again, boss. Because I like driving. All right, uh, we need to have a captain's office. All right, the wonderful captain's office. The wonderful captain's office is somewhere we can sit back and relax and sip our tea whilst we watch our trucks work hard. Uh, I figure, I figure, as we have the brand new captain's office, Mark 1, not the Mark 2 anymore, straight into the Mark 1, we're going to put you here. We're not going to have a sea breeze. We want the ability to stand on our peak, look over our island, and make sure that them trucks be working hard. All right, uh, we're going to get you up and built. Now, you're going to need 100 watts worth of power, also eight people, which means the only reason you should build this is if you're actually going to put it to good, good use. Uh, which we're not going to do for right this second. But we're going to build it. Uh, we're going to collect that. Uh, we're also going to... We had a power problem, so we're going to put in another diesel generator and plug you into you and unpause both of you as well. All right, that'll give us bonus power for the just-in-case moments. All right, I can't build any of that. What I can do is I can enable one of you, two of you, three of you to start making construction parts too. Now, construction parts too are going to require construction parts and more of those precious electronics that I don't have a lot of, but it'll let us build belts. If I can build belts, I can cut down a truck transport time, which is a bonus. So I'm going to enable that one in that building and I'm going to move it up above construction parts one because technically you also make electronics. So if you make the electronics and then you make the, 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 the construction parts, Two, you already have the electronics in stock. Uh, maybe. Hmm. You know what? We're going to put in another one. We're going to put in another one. We're going to have you do... Electronics, construction parts one, construction parts two. Yep. In a straight line. That way, technically, you know, you can technically sort of build everything yourself. Sort of. Not really. A little bit. A little bit sort of. Yeah. Uh oh 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 actually I can't move that anymore. Uh because it's half built. Uh can I put you here? Yeah, we're gonna build it there instead. Uh and delete. We'll get a 70% refund. I'll take a 70% refund. All right, Captain's office. Uh we've built, we'll talk about that later. Uh crop rotation simply gives us the ability to, at the moment we're not rotating the crops, so we have a fertilizer penalty from not rotating the crops, which is very bad, very bad. You should definitely rotate your crops. As we don't have a problem with food for at the moment, we're gonna ignore the problem, but it's uh, something that we need to consider in the long run. Uh, it does mean that the fertility is extra low, which means we get, uh, we get less potatoes out. If I was to put green manure in here, uh, we can see that the average production is uh, 9.8. Without it, it's 9.2. So, sure, we'll put it in. We'll put it in. It just means for two months the, that we, we plant absolutely nothing. Technically, green manure also needs to have water. So if you have irrigated farms, it means that you're going to be pumping water into a field of technically nothingness which is something you need to keep in mind. Uh, but, you know, as we don't have irrigation, we're going to have the field just sit there bare and hope that it rains, which it's actually doing. So I guess that worked out well. Uh, one thing I do need to mention, in case you're curious, I have done a whole tutorial video. In fact, I've done a whole tutorial series, like, like, like multiple videos, but I have done one especially on farming. If you're curious, if you want to know more, um, yeah, that is available. All right, can we... You don't have copper ore still? Prioritize copper ore. That's gonna be super important. Like, I need you to get copper. Like, like, you're sitting in the cab, aim for the copper, please. It doesn't help that I don't actually have a storage, which is probably hurting things, but, um... Wichita? 
That's all. Sure. Uh, copper ore. Alright, uh, let's unpause that. At least then we can feed copper ore in via the power of order magic. Yep. Uh, because I, I... Actually, do I want a belt? Yeah, we'll add a belt. I don't know if this is permanent. That's the problem. I don't know. I don't know what's actually going to stay and what's going to go. All right. So you're doing electronics into construction parts one, into construction parts two. Technically, you're being fed construction parts. So I'm actually going to turn that one off. Uh, and then hopefully you can just start making some construction parts two. If I can get some construction parts two, we can start actually getting some belt automation. So the belt is built here. I just need this to be built. And then we're going to have copper ore. On top of that, I want to run those belts and that as the final output which will be uh copper how much copper do i have in storage i have 21 plates we can definitely turn that on um so yes i want to start actually getting you know belts hooking these things together so they run a little bit more efficiently and have less trucks doing tiny 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 little bits of transport uh, we've spoken at crop rotation okay let's talk about you for a second so the captain's office lets you issue island-wide island -wide edicts, okay? Now, we have a couple. We have a population edict and industrial edict. They're the two categories to choose from, uh, but they can be very, very powerful. Now, they're either going to cost or give you uni, or mm, cost uni. I don't actually think there's anything in the industrial edicts that gives you uni. Maybe there is. Oh, yeah, there is, I think. Whatever. For right now, we're just going to talk about what we have available. So I can put on a growth boost. So I'd encourage the people to breed, which, you know, will up the population. It's a good idea. It's going to cost me one uni, and it will increase the population growth by 0.4. Our current population growth is 0.04. So it's a hell of an increase, honestly. You know, an awful lot of an increase. You know, you've got to encourage those uh, late night activities. But it's going to cost me one uni. I have all of a plus 1.01 uni available. That's all we're up positive. It's it's not an awful lot. So something we could do. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can feed them extra food. So if I feed them 25% extra food, it means we have a, a lot less than 60 months worth of food. Does that kick in straight away? It does not. Uh, oh, it's paused. Can I unpause? Okay. Doesn't kick in straight away. Okay, I can feed them plenty of food. We cut down our food food reserves. Uh, but it give me one extra unit that I could then spend it somewhere else. The other thing I can do is industrial edicts. And this is what I actually want to do. I want to do vehicle fuel saver because it's going to cost me 15% less diesel. Now, diesel is not a problem yet. Yet. But it's going to be eventually. Uh, our oil is a finite resource and we've used 3% of it already, which is not a lot. I don't disagree. And there is oil off on the world map. But the more oil we can save now by saving some diesel, the easier things are going to be in the long run. So I want to turn on that lovely building. Now, to turn on that lovely building, I need to have um, extra workers, which means I also need to turn on that lovely building so we have room in the housing. Uh, and I also need to turn on that lovely building. Okay, uh, so we're now spending one uni on the beacon to bring in 14 refugees in six months, which will fix our housing problem. Uh, well, our workers problem. Yep, and I have two buildings being... Oh, that one. Uh, I sort of want that one running. And that one that are not running because they don't have enough workers, which is problematic. So by the same token, I can just find a building that we're not using and pause it. Like the vehicle depot. I'm not building anything right now, so I probably don't need that running. And now we're at a flat zero workers. Yes, yes. Uh, but we have the ability to make belts. We have made some belts. We have got copper up and running flowing from the metal casters into the copper electrolysis machine out of storage. That is the start of a at least a production line. We have some construction parts twos coming in, which is good because the very next thing I want to do is I want to add a belt from you to you to you. Let's try that again. Let's run it that way in case I run a belt out of that one. Uh, we're going to unpause you because you are making electronics. Uh, ooh. We're gonna un we're gonna turn off all of those. Because now you're belt fed. I sort of need just one item coming out, guaranteed to be that one item for the just in case. Uh, but if I can belt out electronics, we obviously need electronics in here, but I can turn the extra electronics that we hopefully make into, well, construction parts two. Construction parts two gonna give me a big advantage going forth. 
Yeah, it was full of crap. Request the trucks to remove all the stuff on the belt, please. Yeah, it's full of all sorts of crap. It's fine. The, the, the trucks will pick it up. Yep. And then we're going to have to go through the process again. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. And eventually we'll clear it. Um. Yes, with some automation and some other things up, we can finally start getting some decent production lines up and running. But they're going to have to wait for a future episode. Because one, I'm out of time. Two, have we finally got enough dirt? We've finally got enough dirt. Yay! Uh, okay, we're going to turn back on Dirt Dumpy. That is until we don't have enough dirt again. Uh, delete. Uh, we also have ref refugees. Cool. So we have refugees. We have people coming in. We have things moving along nicely. Uh, and more junk coming out. Holy crap. How much did you shove in that machine, Jimmy? Uh, yep. Uh, I, we, we, we're making progress. We're making progress. We're still very much, you know, at like the burner city stage. Everything we've built so far, we're going to have to rip up. Which we will do after we've worked out exactly where we're going to sell things properly. Uh, currently, I have a forest in the way. Also, have a, just a lack of building space, which is going to be problematic. But um, for right now, I need to leave this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you in the very next video. All right. Bye.